This is the plaintiff, Hannah Trainer. She says she and the defendant were roommates, and she soon realized how argumentative and vindictive she was, and things didn't work out. The girl has no control over her temper. She's here today because her things were thrown from the second floor balcony. Everything was smashed and the defendant has to take responsibility for her actions. She's suing for $680, the value of her broken belongings. This is the defendant, Monica Cardona. She says the plaintiff was her best friend in the world for a long time. This lawsuit's crazy because the plaintiff's the one who owes her money because she stole her belongings and donated them to charity. As far as her wrecking the plaintiff's things, that is an out-and-out -out lie, and she will prove it. She's accused of going overboard. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,000, the value of her missing things. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to one, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You Hannah Trainer. Yes. You are suing Monica Cardona, your former roommate, for $680 for items that you say that she destroyed of yours. And you have a counterclaim against her for $1,000 for items that you say belonged to you or were going to belong to you and she donated to the American veterans. Yes. What happened? So I will start off by saying um, we're friends and decided to room together in an apartment. How many people were living there? It's four people. Okay. The fourth roommate, Daphne, um, decided to tell us in the middle of the month that she was going back home to Ecuador and she was leaving in approximately four days from the date she told us. And then she sent us the message um, from the landlord telling us that we had to get out by March 1st on the 17th. Okay. So we approximately had two and a half weeks to get out. Not even. Okay. Um, she left on the 21st, and she said to both m my sister and I about her leaving, and she told my sister and I in the house that she was abandoning her things, and we could do whatever we wanted with them. We could, like, take them or do whatever we want. So here is um, the message. Were you okay with that? Um, that's what exactly became the issue was because okay, she Okay, so left. she says, ah, I'm not, I'm not, you guys figure it out, and she leaves, okay, and then what happens? Um, upon uh, her leaving to Ecuador, she left her things, and it was there for two and a half weeks, just sitting in the dining room and in her room. And, and nobody's done anything with them? I, from that, the point she left it to, um, the day that we had the problem, nobody ever claimed the items. Nobody ever put their name on the items. Nobody put the name, put the items in their room. So according to you, Daphne doesn't tell you, oh, by the way, some of that stuff Monica wants. Yes. Daphne doesn't have any more communication with you other no than telling you it's a free for all, do whatever you want, and that's it. Does Monica have any conversations with you? No, there was no conversation. Were prior. you guys on speaking terms? We were not on speaking terms. Oh, what had happened? Was it petty stuff or something big? Just petty things like taking each other's items uh, without permission and using them, just things like that. Okay, so you're not on speaking terms, which explains why nobody wants to continue living there. Yes. And so she doesn't tell you, hey, I want this or I want that of Daphne's. No. And so what do you do on the very last day when you guys are moving out and Daphne's stuff is untouched? I obviously assume nobody else wanted it, so I just took all the items and donated it to AMVETS. AMVETS is American Veterans, right? Yes. And then what happens? I return to find Monica at the apartment, and she realized that the stuff is gone and decides to blow up in my face about What did she it. say to you? She was telling me, why did, where are the things? Um, first, she mentioned the bins, that she was going to use them and everything. And she told me that I had to pay for... Okay, what was she complaining about at that moment? Just the storage bins, not the items? At that moment, she was just complaining about the storage bins. And then did there did she later complain about the items too? Yes, because um, her harassment was overwhelming and I had to leave the apartment. I went to a friend's house and at that friend's house, I received a call from her further complaining about um, the refrigerator that was missing. Let and me see any text that Monica Cardona sends you. Talk to me, what happened? Okay, so um, to begin, we were best friends. And part of the reason why we stopped talking was, yes, it was over petty stuff. 
Um, I housed her in my house for two months over the summer. And um, due to that, she, my mom got kicked out her house because she didn't know how to behave. What does that mean? She just was, my landlord didn't like the way she was acting. Meaning what? That's still not telling me anything. So she got locked out my house. So um, when I got out of work, I told her to just wait for me in the sta stairs. I'll be there soon. And instead of sitting in the stairs like a like a normal person would do. She decided to lay out on the floor. And remind you, I live in Brooklyn at the time. So they saw like a, you know, a white girl laying down so they thought, in front of my house. So they thought she was dead. So they you called the Brooklyn? cops. Yes. <laughs> okay, it seems like they overreacted, whoever they are. Well, the neighbors, the neighbors called. And for that reason, your mother got kicked out? Because that's ridiculous. Yeah, it was just... That's okay. not her. I thought you were going to tell me she was like wearing a lampshade and harassing the neighbors and drunk and uh, high or something. No, I mean, she that's was a, making All right, a lot look, of noise. okay. So you guys aren't talking to each other and talk to me about what happened here. Okay. Are you guys, does all this happen on the last day that you have there? This all happened on Sunday. Oh. Daphne actually left that morning, like around seven in the morning. I was with her the whole night because we went to a party, to like a good, goodbye party for her. And when she was leaving, she she said that everything was um, free fall except for. And then I told her, okay, can I have? She's. I asked her, can I have the bins? And I explained everything that I included in the report that I wanted. And she said, yes, I can have all of that. And I told her since I was in the process of packing and everything, I had no space in my room. So I asked her if I could keep it in her room, and she said it was fine. So every item that was in her room was what she gave me. I'm sorry, I need to know the communication that took place among people. Daphne leaves, and Daphne doesn't do squat about getting her own stuff out of there. Mm -hmm. And her response to everybody is, it's free for all. Anybody wants it, takes it. If not, get rid of it. Yes, right? but then I told her, and she said, told yes, who? I can. She told me. To you told who? Who's she? Daphne. Okay, stop. Okay. I need proof that you told Daphne something. Well, I have text message proofs where she yeah, told her. Yeah, that's good. Her sure. no, okay. Not after everything hits a fan. I want to see proof that you told Daphne something. And then after that, I want to see proof that you or Daphne told her something. Okay. okay. Well, there was only conversation between with me who? and her. Between me and Daphne. Did you ever communicate with her or you guys weren't talking to each other? No, we didn't. But the thing before that was on Saturday, I had went to her and her sister and I told her if she could please clean the dining room and the kitchen and that I would take care of cleaning the bathroom and the living room. I didn't tell her to go inside Daphne's yeah, room. Yeah, you, didn't tell, her, you didn't tell her not to either. Did you ever tell her, look, I want this, this, and this. I want those storage bins. Whatever it is that you wanted, did you ever communicate it to her? No, but she could And did Daphne ever she... communicate it to her? Yes, afterwards. After I told uh, No, her. after everything hit the fan, that's not a good time for communication. Communication is before him, man, mm -hmm. before she goes to Ambets, right? Okay. When this happens, is your stuff moved out? Not all my stuff, no. You were still in the process? Yes. And she's still in the process, or yes. your stuff was moved out? Oh, my sister and I were still in the process. Okay. Because the reason that you're in court is because what happened after the confrontation with Monica? Because when I came back, the only reason why I came back is because on, at the night of the party, I got a call from Monica. She was basically saying, you took all these things, like, you had no right to touch these things, and you... And then that's when I hung up. Like, okay. she just... So that made you think that she was going to do something to your stuff? Yes. And what did you do? So I have my friend drive me home, and we inspect the area. And I find that my room has been broken into without permission. And she flipped everything over and took um, a good portion of my things and threw it off the balcony that was connected to my room. Are you on a second floor, third floor? Yes, I'm on the second floor. She yeah. threw your stuff off the balcony? Yes. Like, what kind of stuff? She threw my suitcase full of clothes. She threw my um, glasses and bags, things like that. And a lot of the items were broken. Do you have, do you have pictures of the items that were broken? Yes. What, what, happened? what okay, happened? Your Honor, if I can respond to that. Yeah. Um, when this all happened and I got home and I didn't see the bins there, I also had some of my belongings in her room because, like I stated before, I was in her room the night before. We slept over there from the what beginning. What did you do? I put, I guess I did throw her stuff from the bottom. You guess or you did? I said, yes, I did. No, you don't guess. Did you or I didn't you? I said, yes, yes. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Why is it that best friends who end up as roommates really end up as enemies? I figured that you spend too much time around a person and eventually just get sick of them. You know what the saying is, right? 
Familiarity breeds contempt, so that's true. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, why is it? Why do people who are best friends and they move in together oftentimes hate each other once they move in deep? You start learning things about that other person you didn't know until you started living with them. But even your best friend. It's just different, like when you're out with somebody compared to actually living with someone. It's just completely different. So like when you start to see... So when you get to know people, basically they're rotten. I got you, going inside the courtroom. You threw her stuff off of the balcony. Yes, and I also placed her stuff outside just like she gave, because when I went, I'm trying to get to a police report, because I did file a police report the first. After or before, before. you dumped her stuff off a balcony? Before. Well, how is this a police matter? There's a lack of communication between people, and she gets rid of stuff, and I know you're angry, okay, but you have an anger issue to go to the police and say, she gave stuff to the American veterans. Well, did you tell her that it was yours? No. Did Daphne tell her that it was yours? No. What did Daphne say? Daphne said it was a free-for-all. That's a mistake. Tell me how what you do is anything short of criminal conduct. To turn around because you're angry at her and you're not talking to her and you can't believe that you don't have storage bins and taking all her stuff and throwing it off the balcony. How was that an appropriate response? I didn't throw anything other than what was on top of her bed, which was off the balcony. The rest, I oh, so you said so you just a little violated the law. <laughs> there was more you could have violated was, the law. It was just blankets and pillows that I threw outside. No, it bed. isn't. I'm looking at all the broken makeup that went over and perfume and all kinds of stuff you threw over. I'm looking at it broken on the bottom of the balcony. That I brought downstairs and I threw it. That wasn't thrown out oh, from the oh, balcony. And that's okay. You hear how people are laughing at you? That's because it's not okay. You understand that, right? Because the people behind you can't believe you just said that. I mean, come on, seriously, you don't see it? Okay, but- Do you, you see it now? Do you see it I now after it. time has passed? Do you see that what you did was wrong and a gross overreaction? Not because I'm yelling at you, but because do you see it that maybe it wasn't the best way to handle it? How old are you? I'm 21. Okay, you are the age of my daughter. I'm speaking to you as someone who is older and wiser. As I tell my children all the time, mas sabe el diablo por viejo que por diablo. The devil knows more from being ancient than from being the devil, okay? I understand that you were frustrated. I understand that you were angry at her to start off already. You weren't talking to her or whatever. You didn't like her. I understand that these were things that you wanted. And I understand and believe you that Daphne gave them to you. But I see the correspondence between her and Daphne. And neither you nor Daphne, Daphne because she doesn't care, this is somebody else's problem, and you because you're not talking to her, communicate with her that those things are not to be touched. Hey, stuff in the room not to be touched. Other stuff, it's all your problem or all your problem. You know, there needs to be communication. This is an honest mistake that happened. But what you did wasn't an honest mistake. It was wretched conduct. All right. Now, how are you going to prove the value of the stuff? Because a lot of the stuff you just pick up, wash, you know, brush off your ego and wash. Um, the value of my things, I'm asking. I looked up online um, the clothing. I looked up how much You're the, they're selling. Okay. Yes. All right, because this is used makeup and you know, yes. that's not how, how life works. Um, all right, I'm finding in your favor in your lawsuit against Ms. Cardona in the amount of $350 and on your counterclaim against her for $1,000 for items that were donated of Daphne's that Daphne left behind to the American veterans, zero. That's my verdict. All right, hold on right there. Plaintiff has collected on this defendant right here because of uh, the judge ruling your behavior was a little out of line here. Step in a little closer. What's, what's your reaction here? If you only knew her how I knew her, you would understand why I did it. But I just fill, want to fill make us it back in. to Fill us in. Well, that's it. <laughs> what is it we don't know? She's crazy. But I'm not going to get to that because I don't disrespect anyone. But anyway, mm -hmm. I just want to get back to my You guys story. were friends before we became roommates, right? Yeah. What, ha what changed? I, ever since she came back from Italy, she's not even the same person, so... She went to study abroad, and when she came back, I don't even recognize her. And the fact that she even went and put me through this and everything that she did, and then tried to make it look like I'm crazy, like, that well, was just a blow up from throwing, like, that compared to the way she talked to me before and compared to the way she yelled at me. And if you even know why we even stopped talking, like, you would be surprised. Just it was over quick. tacos. Tell us fast. Like, tacos? it was over tacos. Like, she yelled at me, like, the way nobody has ever yelled at me. I really don't care about this. I just want to go back to school. Right, this way, this way. Mm -hmm. All right, the ruling, you okay with it? Um, yes, I'm, I find the only reason why I went through with this is because... The tacos. No, it was deeper than the tacos. Um, she just has a tendency to disrespect others and use other people for her own 
gain. I didn't want anything to do this, with this. Um, the only reason why I went through with it was because she was threatening me. I'm Did you just, change in Italy? <laughs> no. I just became a more confident person, I guess. Okay. Harvey? Okay, I mean, look, this is called rough justice. There's nothing scientific about it. The judge had to do justice and figure out depreciation. That's the way it works. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.